Do you want to learn how to launch a ROS2 node in just a couple of minutes? Then stay with me, this video is for you. Hello ROS developers and welcome to the ROS2 tutorials video series. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drone, ROS for autonomous cars, everything ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to be doing a, a ROS2 tutorial about how to launch a node in ROS2, very easy. But before anything else, remember to visit our robot Ignite Academy. Our online academy where where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. And now, yeah, let's start with the video. So let's go to ROSDS as always, ROSDS.online, and here we are going to create a, a new project. There we go. So let's uh, click here in the new project button. And let's name it uh, ROS2 uh, ROS2 nodes, for instance. Yeah, that's good. And here in the configuration, you will have to select the ROS2 Crystal uh, AMI. Yes, so no, no ROS Kinetic, no Melodic, but ROS2 Crystal. Now let's create this project. And let's open it. And now we will wait a few moments until the until the wall environment loads. There we are. So let's close the Jupyter notebook because we are not going to be using it. Uh, let's open the shell. So as you can see uh, here, uh, let's open the IDE. Although we are not going to use it, but well, let's open it. In order to show a little bit the configuration of this AMI. Uh, so basically, as you can see here, we have a CatKin workspace and a ROS2 workspace, yeah? So we, you can work either with ROS2, you can create your packages here of ROS2 Crystal, in this case, and also ROS1 in the CatKin workspace, in this case it's using ROS Melodic, okay? But for this demonstration, since we, go, we are going to do a very quick video, uh, we are just going to use some pre-installed packages, so if we, if we want to use ROS2 in this AMI, we have to source Crystal version, yeah? Source OPT ROS Crystal Setup Bash. We need to do this in order to be able to work with ROS2 in this AMI, yes? If we want to work with uh, ROS1, then we would source the melodic version, yeah? But in this case, we want to work with ROS2, so we set up the uh, crystal version. Then now we can, in order to start a ROS2 node, the command is, it's quite similar to in ROS1, it's ROS2 run and then here it's the package name and the executable, let's say, or the node name, yep. So ROS2, run the name of the packet that contains the node that you want to, to execute and the name of the node itself, yeah? But what packages can I use now here? So let's do a ROS2 package list. This will give us a list with all the packages that currently I can use. So you can see many here. Let's check some uh, that we can use the examples, for instance, are okay, I think. We can use this example, uh, example minimal publisher and example minimal subscriber, for instance. And okay, so we have the name of the packages, which we will be these ones. But what about the node? So now what we can do is to execute the ROS2 package executable uh, command. executables, sorry, there we are. 
And this gives me uh, a list, a complete list as well, with the name of the packages plus the name of the of the executable to launch. Yeah. So, for instance, in the case we want to use the examples RCL CPP minimal publisher, then we can use the uh, publisher not composable or the publisher member function, the publisher lambda. We have uh, different options here. Yeah. Uh, and the same for the subscriber, yeah? Here we have the package and here we have the different executables of this package. So, yeah. Let's run our... First of all, we are going to run the subscriber. Examples, RCL, CPP. It was minimal uh, subscriber. And if we do a double tap, we'll, have, we'll see also here the options we have. So let's use the, I don't know, the subscriber not composable, for instance. And we are going to run this in background, yeah? Well, actually, it's not necessary. We can run it directly here and then just open another shell. So we have opened now the, we have uh, run here the subscriber, but uh, obviously we need to run the publisher. Otherwise, the subscriber won't subscribe to anything, yeah? So let's search again here. Uh, the Rust to Crystal version. And now we are going to run the examples RCL CPP. RCL CPP is the, the framework for working with C in Rust 2. Yeah. And then minimal publisher. And now here double tap and I will see the options and I will use the publisher not composable. Yeah. Then once I run the publisher, the subscriber will start listening to this publisher, yeah? And I should see here the messages, so let's go. Let's start publishing here, and as you can see here, I start publishing, and in the subscriber, I start listening to exactly the same that this publisher is publishing, yeah? So, yeah, that's all. Let's stop this. Uh, as you can see, it's very simple. Remember... In order to run a, a node in Rust2, Rust2 node, the package name, and the executable name. Yeah? So, yeah, that was all for the video of today. Very short, but we are going to do these videos step by step. So, I hope you learned something with this one. And yeah, if you liked the video, please give us a like, remember to subscribe to our channel, we are publishing videos uh, similar to this one every day, so stay tuned, and yeah, see you in the next video, goodbye!